Oh My Goddess uses what has now become the standard harem manga format. The male lead character, through some unlikely course of events, winds up rooming with several girls who are always attractive and usually supernatural. Cue romantic comedy. Oh My Goddess was probably quite fortunate in its timing. It came as the manga was becoming popular in the West, but before a deluge of harem manga came along and flooded the market with trash. That being said, it was probably the success of Oh My Goddess that encouraged a lot of the hollow copycats. With Oh My Goddess now being republished in its original format, should newcomers to the series forgive it for what it encouraged? Oh My Goddess's male lead is Kichi, a student who meets the goddess Beldatni and is granted a wish. Without really thinking, he wishes that Beldandy would stay with him forever, and so like it or not, that's what he gets. But after the initial shock, Kichi realises that life is quite nice with Beldandy around, and tries to fit her into university with him. Later on, new characters are added, including Beldandy's sisters, and various human de and demonic antagonists who provide the villains where needed. Like any good comedy, none of the characters are perfect, even the goddesses or demons. All have various nuances and weaknesses, which are used for comic effect. A lot of the comedy in the manga comes from the goddesses using a silly or magical response to an ordinary, mundane problem. But one problem with having a lot of the cast as goddesses or demons is the temptation for the author to use a deus ex machina rather than write a clever ending to each story. Another possible negative is the series is dabbling with action-based stories. They're quite well done and they keep the manga varied, but they're not quite as polished as the comedy stories. Plus it feels a bit weird to have the characters go from chilling in university to saving the world from the apocalypse, and then suddenly back again. Also, while the stories and the characters can be enjoyed by anybody, every so often the series serves up a story of a lot of fan service for Oh My Goddess's obviously male target audience. However, as not every story is like that, I've decided not to punish Oh My Goddess too much for this. Oh My Goddess is a very rare example of how to do a harem manga well. Rather than depending on sex to sell, the characters and other plot elements are all done very well and will stand on their own. So much so that calling Oh My Goddess a harem manga insults it slightly.